Today I'll be showing you the Russell Hobbs 20630 steam iron and I'll show you why it's one of the best selling irons in the UK. So the iron itself has a ceramic base, it's got plenty of holes in the bottom as you can see which the, the main advantage is when using the steam function on the iron. You'll notice it has got this strange shape at the end. The main advantage is if you are ironing awkward things uh, where you need to get into corners then that can be a real help. What Russell Hobbs have realised is that there's nothing more annoying than having a short lead on an iron. So on this one they've given us a three metre lead and of course you've got the moulded plug on the end. Another thing to point out is it is a really nice weight. It's around 1.6 kilograms including the lead and it's nice that the centre of gravity is right in the middle of the iron where you're holding it. The next thing to show you is how easy it is to use the iron. When it comes to filling it, the first thing to show you is the tank. It's all the way around here, it's a 350 milliliter tank. And to fill the water, first of all, you've got the clip on the top there. And to fill it, obviously you just pour the water in. That should be enough to show you. And it has got the drip stop system which basically is this around here, it's a rubber seal and when you combine it uh, around this seal around here then it's guaranteed not to drip while you're using the iron. To see the level of the water in the iron if you just have a look here you can see the level goes all the way up here so at the moment that's the level I've got of water which is probably around a quarter full at the moment. The first thing to note is the temperature dial it's got a, an easy grip dial just around the middle here and it is well labelled out I don't, you probably can't see it on there because it's like a shiny dial but you've just got the different temperature settings around there so what I've done is I've plugged it in and we're up to temperature now it does actually get up to temperature very quickly and what I've also done is I've filled it up with water to show you what it can do so when it comes to the steam on the iron you've actually got a variable selection on top which is between 0 and 45 grams of continuous steam or well, what you've also got is by pressing that button on there you can actually get a burst of 210 grams and I will just show you that and that's basically by pressing the button on there the other button on top which is this one here is for the spray of water and you can see the nozzle is there and when you press that, I don't know if you can see, it's not that clear, but it's just the little spray of water, which can really help when you're ironing things like shirts to help get creases out. Now one of the last buttons to show you is this button here, it's the self-clean button. And basically what that does is you would normally hold it over a sink, I'll just show you this quickly, uh, but what it would do is you press and hold the button and it will send maximum steam, a bit noisy and hopefully you can see some water coming out there basically what that's doing is that's actually cleaning the jets of the iron and that is important to do to help keep the iron clean I hope you've enjoyed the short video on the Russell Hobbs 20630 steam iron please give us a thumbs up on the YouTube video and leave any comments below. If you're interested in buying one of these irons, easy, then visit our link below where you can find a really good price on it. Thanks very much.